What is up everyone? So the day is finally here. My Final Fantasy XIV Fender guitar has arrived. Boy! I am so glad and excited everyone. My inner gaming nerd and music nerd is just going f crazy at the moment. So I ordered this guitar on the 19th of July last year and it was said to arrive this year, but I didn't expect it to take this long. But you know what? I don't give a shit. We're gonna open this bad boy right now for the first time on camera so you can see my first impressions. Man, let's not waste any time, let's get to it. Okay, so I made as much room as I can here, but let's just, let's just open it. Man, I'm so anxious about this, Jesus Christ. I have never been this excited for a guitar in my entire life. Okay, let's just get it out. Okay, so there is like a custom plate on it actually. Let me show that to the camera. Shall we do the peel? Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Let's open it. Let's do it. Oh my god. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, I have goosebumps on my body at the moment. Holy shit. I ain't, I ain't even gonna keep the gel. I'm not gonna eat it, I promise. I will not lie, like when I first saw this guitar, I was like, well, that's kind of underwhelming for that expensive guitar, but you know what? This slick, simplistic look has just grown on me so much, and this looks so pretty. So this is pretty awesome. So we got this own little book or pamphlet, I guess. So this is number 564. So here we have the specs for the guitar. This is just super cool to just, just have a look at. And of course, the custom print of Yustola jamming on the guitar. It is so freaking cool. I actually didn't expect it to come in this leather pamphlet with the Meteor logo on the back. An extra lock. That smell of a fresh guitar case, man. Okay, so here nothing really special. We got the the vibrato arm. I'm, not, I'm actually not even gonna take the Rami bar out yet because I don't use it too often. So I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. And of course, a key, because you know, no one can break into this case if they wanted to. This key, it stops everything. And of course, there's a real certificate here. So we are gonna take the guitar out of the case now and take a closer look at the guitar itself, so... Whew, let's do it. It's okay, my darling. I got you. Oh, damn, it's surprisingly heavy. I like that, actually. I like that quite a lot. So I'm just gonna take this off really carefully. Where do we even start? Well, first of all, just look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. And what is really like the first thing that is so cool is that the crystal thing is not just like a wood that is colored. It is actually like a part of the guitar, but it's like you can see into it. So it's of course to represent the crystals of darkness and light. It is actually not as like vibrant, like the color was a little harder to see than I expected it to be actually. Uh, so that's, uh, <laughs> sadly it's, it's like most visible on the back. So the wood on the body is older, which is one of my favorite woods to have on a guitar. I don't know what it's about it, I think it's kind of the weight and just the feel when you play. And it has a rosewood fingerboard, which is pretty cool actually because there's like some sort of restriction on it now. So in Norway at least we don't get a lot of rosewood fretboards anymore. So that feels pretty epic. And of course we have the inlay on the 12th fret. So that is so friggin' cool. And I also love that there's no other inlays on it. Because it brings all the attention to the 12th fret. And it looks super friggin' sweet. So this guitar has a 25 and a half inch scale and it has 21 frets. I'm so used to 24, so that's gonna be an adjustment. The frets are narrow tall, which is something I actually haven't played before. It has a maple neck with a modern C shape. Now this is not something I've tried before either, but it feels really nice. The pickups are V-Mod single coil Stratocaster pickups. Now these are well known, and I do know how they sound because I mixed a lot of records using it but I never owned a Stratocaster myself. It has the pickup selector over here, obviously, uh, volume knob and two tone knobs. And the second one, when you push it, you get the advertised limit break function. Now, what this does is that it combines the bridge pickup and the middle pickup to get a fatter sound. So, the back, not really much special. I mean, you can still see the crystal 
Actually, you can see the blue one more on the back, and it has a custom back plate. Now, this is pretty cool. And there it is, the back plate with the numbering 564 and the Final Fantasy logo. And that, everyone, is the Final Fantasy XIV Japan Custom Fender Guitar. Holy shit, I just cannot believe I have it in my possession right now, and I'm absolutely in love. Before we try out the guitar itself, I got one more cool thing to show you guys. So these are the Fender Final Fantasy XIV guitar picks. They are shaped like crystals, have different colors, and they are not the size and shape I probably would prefer to use, but I needed them. That is pretty awesome. Oh, they actually have this little like hole shape in the back for your finger. I've never tried this before. I don't know if these are just standard pick uh, modified, but it still has like the crystal shape inside there. I don't know if you can even see it, but it has like this crystal shape in the, the hole. That's pretty awesome. Very nice attention to detail. And now I just can't wait any longer. Let's plug this bad boy in and see how it sounds. Hell yeah. Now, as far as the instrument itself goes, it is absolutely perfect. I have had such an immense joy playing on this instrument. Even without a Final Fantasy uh, theme, it is absolutely amazing. And the tone versatility on this thing is just mind-blowing. I know Stratocasters are like this, and I haven't really owned one, but it's just the crazy the amount of tones you can get from this. Not to mention the limit break button here. I will be honest, without it, the metal tones wouldn't be that great, in my opinion. I know some people can play on single coils and it sounds good, but to me, with that limit break button on, it sounds really unique, actually. It sounds like a humbucker, you know, a little bit noisy uh, thanks to the single coils, but it sounds like a humbucker, just a little bit more unique. I don't know, I really like it. And I want to give a huge thanks to you guys who went over to my Twitch to donate towards me keeping the guitar. Because like I said in my initial video, I actually can't afford this. Uh, so I actually loaned money to buy it so I can make this video right now and make the next Final Fantasy XIV covers with it. But you guys have been so mighty generous that uh, I'm very glad to announce that I will be keeping the guitar now. Thank you guys so much. This one will be used in so much of my music going forward. You have my word. And I will treasure it for years to come. Thank you guys. All right, my friends, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for enjoying this very special moment with me. And I hope you're gonna enjoy my next Final Fantasy XIV covers as well. Answers is up next, my favorite track from the game, featuring Christine Starkey from my With Hearts Aligned cover. 
So it's going to be pretty damn awesome. So until then, guys, take care.